Wolverine fans are going to get exactly what they want from Wolverine and Deadpool 3. First, there was complaints that they want to see a comic accurate suit. Then they got it, and it's complaints that they want to see the cowl. They're gonna get it, and now they're still complaining we want him to have no sleeves. Well, don't worry, you're gonna get that. While people naturally love the suit that Logan is going to have in Deadpool 3, some people really want the sleeveless version. Well, by all accounts, you're going to get it. As recent reports have stated that there's been merchandise that's out there that features Logan without the sleeves, and that they are built into that suit to be removable, and that this is something we are going to see during the course of the film. Now, by all accounts, this isn't just going to be a type of thing where they just get ripped off and, oh, look, now they're just kind of gone. Like, it's actively built into the suit, and we're going to see him essentially just, I guess at one point, need to suit up and just not toss the sleeves on. Which, honestly, makes a whole lot of sense. You know, sometimes you question, how did they dress themselves? Well, yeah, they got to toss on the suit and... Pull the zipper and everything. Well, I guess Logan doesn't have time to do that with the actual sleeves. So it's just going to happen. I'm going to assume they could probably play it as a joke. Like Deadpool will be like, people just want to see those arms. Come on. He says no. And then he steals them or something or hides them. And he's like, oh, come on, Wade. And then we're going to get it, right? They're probably going to play into it. They're going to have some fun with it. I am cool with it, honestly. I think it's good to do something like that to give us another look for Wolverine, not just because fans demand it, but because it also further pushes that they understand the market, they can make more products, obviously the Hot Toys figures and everything, and they could just have some fun with it. And it's cool, it's fine. You know, um, we know that initially they didn't want Hugh Jackman to be sleeveless on set under a hot burning sun because of his uh, skin cancer diagnosis. So it makes sense that when they start shooting some other stuff, when they're indoors, Hey, here you can do it. Or they can just honestly add CG to some scenes. Just CG to actual things out if you want. Because we know they do that now. They CG actors' arms. Because nothing is off limits these days, I guess. Pretty soon, everybody's going to look like Chris Redfield from Resident Evil 5. Where you look at his tricep, you're like, I know that's not human anatomy. Triceps can't have triceps. That's not how it works. They'll do that to Hugh Jackman. Adamantium triceps. <laughs>